If you guys looking to buy some FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check out onefifa.com. There's a link right down in the description. Be sure to use promo code Derek5 and you get 5% off your order. Right guys, welcome back to another FIFA 15 squad prediction. This time we are doing Barcelona. So many of you asked for this, so I thought I'd bring it to you. It's gonna kill me to do it for obvious reasons as a Liverpool fan, but what you guys want you guys get. Now before we jump into it, just something quick I need to say. There's a couple of videos where I've been off with a player who's transferred to another club. Now the reason for that is guys, as you all know if you've been around here for a while, I get limited time to record videos, I've got a little daughter so I can only record when my fiance brings her out. So a couple of videos I've got some things wrong because I've pre-recorded it. By the time the video goes up, a transfer's been made and not to the club I've done it for. The rumours guys, rumours change and things happen. So, my videos are pre-recorded and that's why I'm off with a few of the predictions. But, bear with me, I try to keep up to date as I can. Let's jump on with this and start off with the goalkeeper. So, we're going with Bravo. He's been transferred in. As far as I know, the deal's done. He's there. I reckon he's going to be the starter next season. He had such a fantastic World Cup. So, with him starting off the team, it's looking strong already. One player in and we're already fucking on bonus. Let's move on to right back. Well, it's going to be the ever-reliable Danny Alves. He's an absolute beast going forward and defending. He's possibly the best in the world at right back. So, you know, no doubt that he's going to be there. Moving on to centre back. Well, I reckon it's going to be Mascherano. I prefer him playing CDM, but... He always seems to be playing in the backs lately for Barcelona, so I don't see why it's going to change. He's an absolute tank wherever he plays. Really, really miss him at Liverpool because he's a top player and what a World Cup he had. So, who's going to be his partner, you ask? Well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist. It's going to be PK. What more can be said? Again, he's one of the best centre-backs around. Some people don't rate him. They're idiots. I think he's top class, but that's just my opinion. So, this team is looking strong already. Moving on to left back. So again, we're talking about one of the best in the position. He's one of the best left backs in the world. I remember Liverpool were linked with him before he went to Barcelona and I did get a tiny bit erect at the thoughts of it, but I kind of knew it was never going to happen. But um, yeah, that back four or back five, whatever you want to look at it, is pretty damn strong. So let's move on to midfield. Right, sadly we've got Sergio Biscuits. I absolutely hate this prick. I've never seen a grown man roll around the ground as much as him. Anytime he gets touched, he acts like he's been bloody shot. I'm saying no more about him. I don't even want to have any bloody icon thingy on him. Look at that. Avoid the bastard. Roll around him. Fuck off, Biscuits. Let's move on to the centre mids. Right, so another transfer in is Rakitic. I can't say I know a lot about him. I'm, I know he had a really good last previous season, so I'm guessing that's why Barca went in for him, but don't know a lot about him. I'm guessing he's got to be good if um, Barcelona have spent money on him, so it'd be interesting to see how he does. And then we've got Iniesta. Now, as far as I know, and from what I'm hearing, Xavi is leaving Barcelona. I don't think it's happened yet. But it's sounding like it's going to, so that's why he's not in the team. We've got Iniesta, who is an absolute wizard on the ball. And if you remember, it's Iniesta was the first big player I got in a pack when I started YouTube. And that's where Borna time came from. So, thank you Iniesta, it means a lot. Look at this team, it's absolutely ridiculous already and we haven't come to the bloody strike force. Hold on to your knobs boys, this is where it gets extremely exciting. There we go, Lionel Messi. Let's start there. Why the fuck not? The best in the world as far as I'm concerned. The whole Messi-Ronaldo thing. Stop wasting your breath. In my opinion, it's this guy. He's absolutely insane. Ridiculous. Re-dick-you-less. There's the word dick in the middle of that. What a wonderful word. So, that's just amazing. And we're not finished. We're not finished. Let's see who else is up there with him. Oh, fucking Neymar, why not? That guy was fantastic at the World Cup. He might not have stood out as much as you'd think, but let's remember, he was in an extremely shit fucking team. Oh 
my god, Brazil were absolutely shocking, but that guy still managed to stand out. They only had his bloody back broken, and that was the end of that. But oh my word, this team is disgustingly good. Oh no. Here we go, it's about to happen. There it is, guys. It brings a tear to my eye. It's, oh, honest to God, you don't realise the pain of seeing Luis Suarez in that team. He deserves it. Suarez deserves to be playing in the best team in the world, and I think next season he's going to be. Look at that team. I cannot see that being stopped. Real Madrid have a top team. We're going to get to that, possibly in the next episode, and we're going to compare the two teams, but... Oh Christ, I don't see any better than that, especially the strike force. That's going to be unstoppable. They can rotate. Each of those three up top can play in any of those positions. Defenders won't know what's hit them. They won't know where to go. They won't know when to mark. It's going to be chaos. They could... Oh, I, I dread to think how many goals those three alone are going to score between them. But that's it. Do you agree with that team? Hopefully there's no big transfer news by the time I upload this, otherwise the dislikes will be ridiculous again. But uh, thanks so much for your support guys, let me know your opinions, do you agree, disagree? Please like the video if you want to see more, and please subscribe if you haven't, and I shall talk to you next time. Cheerio!